The high school football playoffs roll on with the area around. Only three El Paso schools were left standing. Who would take that next step and punch their ticket to the regional quarterfinals? The first game of the day was in Class 5A. Division 2, Gano Theo taking on Arlington Heights. This game going down in Odessa. First quarter, Eagles on the move. Jeremiah Knox with the pass to Rene Huerta. And run, Rene, run. Rene Huerta, welcome to End Zone City. Gano Theo up 6-0 because the extra point was no good. But here comes Arlington Heights in the second quarter. Eric Orozco will find Anthony Lara in the end zone for the touchdown. Celebration right here by the Yellow Jackets was a bust due to the slippery track right there. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They got back up and they're all good. Yellow Jackets up 7-6, but Gano is going to answer right back. The give to LJ Martin, but he's not going to run it. He's going to throw it. The lob to Huerta, and he's off to the races. Eagles retake the lead, and after a successful two-point conversion, Gano is up 14-7 late in the fourth. Game tied at 14. Eagles within striking distance. Knox takes it in himself. Just get out of his way. That breaks the deadlock. And fly, Eagles fly. Gano Theo is moving on. Area champions as they win it 21 to 14, the final. Um, you know, everyone did a great job. You know, defense played phenomenal. Uh, Knox really stepped up this game. You know, he had a great game, I believe. Um, Renee, he stepped up with two. Uh, number 15, you know, had two big touchdowns for us earlier in the game. Um, the O line blocked their bus off. Uh, defense played their hearts out, and, you know, just good team win. We'll next head to Andrews, Texas. That's where we find Pebble Hills taking on North Crowley, a Class 6A Division I area round game. Spartans down by two, 42 to 28 in the fourth. This team has some fight. Gael Ochoa to Robert Deal Jr. for the touchdown strike, and they weren't done yet. Next drive, the handoff to Jacob Ledesma, and he's just running over people. That's good for six there. Two back-to-back -back touchdowns for the Spartans. Game tied at 42, but North Crowley. Work it downfield and steamroll their way in to go up by seven. 35 seconds left. Pebble Hill is going to go for the Hail Mary here. So close, but yet so far there as the season unfortunately comes to a bitter end for the Spartans tonight. Pebble Hills falls in this one by a final score of 49 to 42. We go to Midland. Class 6A, Division 2, Eastwood taking on Byron Nelson. First quarter, game tied at 7, but Eastwood knocking on the door. Evan Minhadis rolls to his right. He's going to find Jace Molden, and Molden makes the catch while falling to the ground. Troopers on top, 14-7. Fast forward to the fourth. Eastwood down 28-21, but they're within striking distance again. Minhadis trying to buy some time. He gets the pass off to Molden again for the house call. Game tied at 28, but the Bobcats would march down the field. Jake Wilson. Going to connect with Landon Ransom in the corner of the end zone. Byron Nelson back on top with a little more than a minute left in the game. And that would be the difference in this one as the Troopers were unable to respond. Eastwood season unfortunately also comes to an end. The Troopers fall by a final score of 35 to 28. So then there was one. Congratulations to Kenneth Theo as they move on to the regional quarterfinals. But still, congrats to Pebble Hills and Eastwood for a tremendous season. Definitely give us something to remember this football season. Well, let's talk about UTEP volleyball. The Miners taking the court in the quarterfinals of the Conference USA tournament. UTEP taking on Charlotte in what you would call the battle of the picks here. Miners versus 49ers. UTEP would take the first two sets. In the third set here, Miners up 22-20. UTEP's Marion Ovaya going to get the kill for UTEP.